Escapement is a novel video prototyping tool for interaction designers where sensors control animations. The designer can start from a quick video mockup of an idea, such as this stock video of clock gears. But instead of just having a video where time takes in axillary forward, Escapement turns it into an interactive prototype. This factors the time dimension out of the video and recasts it as interaction. This abstraction of time, which we call video escapement prototyping, is a powerful concept that allows the designer to rapidly explore and viscerally experience a wide range of sensor-mediated interactions. Here the sensor-mediated interaction of swiveling a display, or swiping it with touch, or other plausible ways of moving the device. For example, let's follow an interaction designer, Chikima, interested in how 3D metaverse avatars might manifest on everyday devices and in remote work. She screen caps a short video of a 3D avatar already at hand. Just import it into escapement and it's interactive right away. Maybe tilting left and right. No, that feels off somehow. Swiveling instead. Yeah, that's it. Now the interaction feels just right. So far this is just one screen and one device. But for remote work there's always someone on the other side. She adds a fade effect and puts it over a backdrop she finds on the web for the Teams video conferencing app. Now she can swivel it to rotate and share it into the call in one gesture. And here's how it looks to the collaborator on the remote side. Maybe that's a seed of a great idea. Maybe not. But Jakima has gone from an abstract idea to experiencing an interactive prototype where she can reflect in action and shows the next step, all in just a few minutes using design material readily at hand. In Escapement, sensors control animation through a sensor mapping application and one or more view application clients on any connected device. The sensor mapping application has a control panel with a wide range of sensor inputs that the designer can transform to video animations. This can be a manual slider, a touch gesture, maybe the gyro. For example, here we pick side to side accelerometer tilt and now the animation changes in response. Animations play in a viewer application's viewport and there can be many viewports. So now because there's viewers running on multiple devices, moving the sensor over here plays the sequence on both devices. The viewer has a few settings to get more mileage out of even very simple animations. Here's one that just moves from the right side over here. But if we flip the left-right axis, both animations now seem to stream from the center, inside to the outside of both screens. Or if we reverse the time dimension in one viewer and play the video backward, now it goes from the right to the left, and then from the left to the right, and the animation seems as if it flows across the screens. So a simple found video becomes an interactive prototype and a visceral demonstration of how easy information could flow back and forth across devices. This is the essence of video escapement prototyping. Overall, escapement empowers interaction designers to leverage video as a first-class design material. It can be explored and enacted through direct embodied experimentation. We have used versions of escapement over the last several years to prototype scenarios for remote work, cross-device interactions, dual screen devices, tilting interfaces, and which application responses to screen rotation, among other use cases. The richness of these scenarios and many more over long-term use suggests that video escapement prototyping can serve as a unique tool and lens for exploring device motion, continuous gesture, and other sensor-mediated interactions.